Question is the sprint length should be option A short enough to keep the business risk acceptable to the product owner. Option B short enough to be able to synchronize the development work with the other business events. Option C no more than one month. Option D all of these answers are correct. Correct answer is option D. All of these answers are correct. Next question is a time box is option A an event that starts at a specific time. Option B an event with a minimum set time. Option C an event that cannot take more than a maximum amount of time. Option D an event that must happen by a specific time. Correct answer is option C an event that cannot take more than a maximum amount of time. Next question is when does a new sprint begin? Option A immediately after the next sprint planning. Option B immediately after the end of the previous sprint. Option C it depends on the product owner. Option D every Monday. Correct answer is option B immediately after the end of the previous sprint. Next question is what might be a valid reason for abnormally cancelling a sprint? Option A when the development team discovers it cannot meet their sprint commitments. Option B when the work becomes too difficult for the development team. Option C when the sales department discovers features that add more value than the other than the current work being done. Option D when the sprint goal becomes obsolete. Correct answer is option D when the sprint goal becomes obsolete. Next question is when does a sprint end? Option A when there is no work remaining in the sprint backlog. Option B when the time box expires. Option C it depends on the product owner. Option D immediately after the conclusion of the sprint review. Correct answer is option B when the time box expires. Next question is the purpose of a sprint is to produce a potentially releasable product increment. True or false? Correct answer is true.